Hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, Stefan uh, Eats. This video is actually going to be coming from uh, Galicia. Uh, so in uh, this video what I did is actually uh, combine two videos. Originally I was going to make two but I'm going to just make it into uh, one. Uh, get ready because it's such a cool video. We went to Santiago de Compostela. Uh, we did some markets, uh, we also uh, did some restaurants, and then we finished off by going a little bit south of there, kind of close to where we uh, were staying. And uh, yeah, get ready for an epic ending uh, involving probably one of the most amazing uh, lobster meals I've ever had. Anyways, I'm not going to spoil it too much. Uh, let's get right into uh, this video. Welcome to uh, Stefan Eats and in this uh, video I'm actually in Spain in the region of Galicia uh, to be specific and to be even more specific I am in Santiago de Compostela. Uh, yes, a very special place uh, for some people. Obviously it's a pilgrimage uh, site but also in uh, Galicia and of course Santiago de Compostela there's also amazing uh, food. Probably some of my favorite food in the world and in my opinion, I don't tell this to other Spanish people, but probably the best food in Spain. Let's explore. We're going to try to do some markets, some little tapas spots. Don't really have a plan. We're kind of just going to wing this a little bit. I'm going to try to tell you a little bit about the history, uh, probably by looking at the plaques. <laughs> We're going to try to find some really good food for you guys. Anyways, let's go. walking around and we didn't really plan for this but we just walked through this kind of covered uh, part of the market and with a whole bunch of shops you can kind of bring all your stuff here and then they can cook it for you so you can actually get fish or you can just come here and have a glass of wine and a whole bunch of other stuff. One typical wine of Spain, especially this area of Spain, is Albarino and it is one of my favorite white wines. Uh, I'm more of a red wine person but this wine is just absolutely delicious. First dish, uh, mussels called mejillones in Spain. Uh, look at this, these are just plump, juicy Galician mussels. Some of the best in the world, in my opinion, and these are so juicy. I mean, let's just take one of these guys right there. Look at that, oh. Look at that absolute orangeness coming from there. Yeah, look at that, just so simple. Yes, let's go, oh, oh look at that. The other dish showed up, it's okay. No distractions, no distractions. Oh. 
so fresh, so delicious, a little bit briny from the ocean. It's a giant fat uh, mussel and it's just so meaty, so delicious and perfectly cooked. Oh, perfectly steamed. A little bit of that lemon, that's all you need. So delicious. Here is the other one and look at that. This is a giant purple dish. <laughs> and we saw this, uh, yeah, our neighbors had this and we could not resist. It's just an absolute beautiful masterpiece. Uh, this is giant octopus. If you have not had a Spanish octopus, you have no idea what you're missing. I'm gonna cut into it and you will see how tender it is. Look how tender it's gonna be. I'm gonna cut maybe. Oh, look at this leg. Oh, and look at those absolute grill marks there too. Let's just cut into it. Wow, effortless, absolutely effortless. Why do I even need to continue videos after this bite? I should just stop here. It is so tender. The grill marks just add an extra crispiness, a little bit of fire in there, perfectly salted. There's also that olive oil in there. Stunning, absolutely stunning start. I mean, I'm supposed to share, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's gonna go. Feel me now. Leave me. Leave me alone. <laughs> gonna do some uh, very simple potatoes but some aioli on uh, the top just a giant dollop of aioli and uh, I'm probably gonna say this a lot uh, but Galician potatoes uh, very very high quality uh, and they're a little bit more yellow uh, than other potatoes uh, you make fries out of them too just ah, just delicious so let's take a couple of these potatoes dip them in the aioli oh look at that oh yes perfect Potatoes, just so rich, so buttery, a little bit fried on the outside, so much flavor, and then that aioli, just amazing. A little bit of garlic in there, a little bit salty. Yeah, you do not want ketchup going anywhere close to here. So simple, yet so much flavor, and when you do the good things right with good quality ingredients, Ah, you end up with a very good meal. Next one uh, wasn't really in our plans, but uh, there was kind of this dish just hanging out there. We have a very good sense of smell on this channel, and it kind of just walked it over. And, ah, we had to get it, unfortunately. Uh, so, this is called the uh, uh, It's just pretty much, it's almost like Spanish bacon, and uh, if you just go down here, look at just this giant piece of bacon just soaking in delicious olive oil. Oh wow. And then on top of that, I think there's just a little bit of um, a paprika on top and let's just put it on here. Look at that. I'm gonna try it by itself to start. It's extremely thin uh, and then there's a little bit of a layer of fat on there too. Oh, mm -hmm. move over bacon. Uh, this is gonna take your spot very quickly. Super porky, super meaty, it's not as fat as bacon, so it's mostly very lean, but it's still very tender, cut super, super thinly, and then you just taste that amazing smoked paprika on there. Wow, and you know what's gonna make this better? Yeah, a look on sandwich. So, let's put some of this uh, potato in there. Uh, this might be sacrilegious, they're probably gonna look at me the wrong way, but it's all good. Put some of this potato. A little bit of that. And then uh, let's just kind of uh, try to, yeah. All right, I'll try, I'll try. I'll try to wrap it around, kind of like a little mini taco. Oh, there you go, perfect. I'm really sorry, Spain, but <laughs> I'm, gonna break, uh, I'm gonna break from tradition on this one. 
I think I might have invented a new delicious taco. Oh, wow, what a combination. Mm. Yeah, get those two plates together, combine the two, you have the bread, you have the wine, absolute perfection. There's one thing I can say about this dish, it definitely doesn't lack on any flavor. A Spanish, uh, Spanish dad joke. And the last dish here is uh, the langostino. So pretty much a prawn, but on steroids, the Lance Armstrong of shrimps. Anyways, whatever. You know what? Let's just dig into it. Oh, super hot. Okay, let's try. I'll try this with a uh, fork and knife. And look at just the absolute size of this. It's, I mean, it's like the size of my hand. It's really, really big. It smells so good. They're made on the plancha. So obviously the plancha being the flat kind of, I think it's like the iron grill that you put it on, uh, the flat top. Oh yes, oh yes, perfect. Now, before you do anything with this guy, as tempting as it is, you have to take the head. For the people who really know how to eat, you gotta, you gotta become a zombie. So you gotta suck the juices out of the brains, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, there's a little bit of that bitterness from the brains and then there's just yeah, so much juice and then since it's put on the plancha it has a little bit of that grill taste uh, added and of course just uh, break it apart. It almost looks like a mini little lobster. Look at that. Look at that amazing. Wow, the color is so cool. There you go. Just wow, look at that color. Just epic. So orange. I almost forgot my color palette for two seconds there. Anyways, let's take a bite. Moment of silence for my, my soul and my brain and my conscience that just left my body for two seconds there. And just came back. <laughs> wow, so sweet, so hot, perfectly cooked, tender, almost like a miniature lobster. And once again, you get that kind of grilled flavor that just has permeated through uh, the shell. Uh, to give you just an epic bite, so fresh, delicious, oh, so simple. Brighten it up a little bit. Should have done this in the beginning, but it's all good. Oh, there you go, perfect. Wow. In Spanish, you say obra maestra, it means masterpiece. I'm happy I learned that one word. This is an obra maestra, for sure. <laughs> what, you want me to finish this? What am I, a prawn in your sick game?
so yeah, here is uh, the little restaurant uh, we've been talking about. Yeah, I don't really know what the name is. Uh, it doesn't really have a name. All we know is it's uh, right next to the beach, the Pla Praia, Playa, <laughs> La Praia Area Brava. Uh, so very small beach, kind of cool. You just kind of walk along this little path here, and then you end up at this uh, restaurant with no name. I'll link the name down here, and also uh, I'll put the address in the description because it's a little bit out of the way. Uh, another thing to know, I think they're only open for summer and a little bit of fall. I think they close October 1st and then they reopen for summer. Uh, so don't come here in winter unless you want to enjoy the, the beach, just the beach. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's go in. So first of all, mussels uh, fresh from here. This is a very mussel rich area. So uh, Galicia is known for its mussels. They ship them all over Europe. And you can tell in almost all of the bays, you'll see a lot of the barges that have the mussels. Uh, and this is one of their specialties. Their mussels are fairly big uh, so normally you get a little bit more meat uh, but actually it depends because sometimes I've noticed that you get uh, big ones and you get small ones this one super simply uh, just steam and then he said just put a uh, small little hint of lemon on there <laughs> all of it going not in the muscle shell obviously uh, but yeah let's take a bite mm. and there you go so simple so briny so meaty Perfectly cooked. Probably some of the best mussels in the world uh, you can find in Galicia. So delicious and uh, very rustic looking. Look, there's <laughs> some kind of leaves with it too. Actually, you know what? Might be a whole thing of bay leaves, potentially. Yeah, so that's really cool. Very cool touch with the bay leaves. What I really love about these mussels is you're not really sure uh, what you're gonna get. You can get some smaller ones and you can just uh, find just a massive one. You just open it up and it's just like the meatiest thing. It's kind of just filling out the whole muscle. I love it because it's kind of like a, uh, not like a Russian roulette because you know Russian roulette uh, you, you could lose uh, in this case you're you're winning almost every time uh, but yeah such a cool kind of variety of mussels and then the other dish that has shown up is the pimento de padron and this is absolutely oh I love these I've actually <laughs> have not had these yet I don't know why these are just one of the most uh, typically Galician things you can have the way I would describe a pimento de padron is kind of like a mix between a shishito pepper and a serrano uh, pepper most of them will not be spicy but you will eventually uh, come across some that are just a little bit spicy and that's what I love about them too kind of the randomness of it and then the other dish has now shown up which is the tortilla now this oh look at that yes let's do the pimento de padron on right away and look at these bad boys oh so big kind of charred on the outside oh absolutely delicious oh and it's still really really hot oh yeah I don't know where they got these pimentos de padron but it's definitely from the land of the giants these are huge very very big mmm so good a little bit roasted Get that kind of green uh, chili uh, flavor, but this one was not spicy. They're so addictive. This with some beer or some wine, I could literally wolf down about 20 of these plates. I can eat these all day. I will never get sick of these. These are so good. <laughs> this one this is like the size of a jalapeno. It's so big. Uh, but yeah, here's another one. I kind of maybe like the smaller ones a little bit better just because you get more of that outside char, that extra kind of fire flavor. Let's move on to the tortilla. Look at this absolute beauty. Oh, so tortilla, very, very famous in Spain. This one is, according to my mom, uh, probably some of the best tortilla in Spain. And uh, they've also said the same thing. The eggs are from the chickens that are right here. Uh, I think this is their house. <laughs> uh, but they also own chickens and everything. And it's, yeah, let's just cut into it. I'm not even gonna talk. Oh, it's so melty. Look at that. Yes, perfect. Oh, so good. All right, let's put this on my plate. Oh, and this is freshly made. So if she just made it, you can smell. You can hear the egg sizzling in the pan uh, as she was making these. So this is freshly made and there you go. Tortilla, what you want is a moist kind of eggy center with all that potato in there. Look at that and that's all you need. So simple. All you need are good ingredients for this. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Oh, 
so satisfying, so creamy. Uh, the potatoes are kind of just melting with the eggs. And the egg, you can tell, is just of a great quality. According to them, Galician um, chickens are the best. It's debatable, but you know, <laughs> based on this, uh, they're they're not very far off. And you know what? The best combination you can ever come up with is you get a little bit of this, a little bit of the tortilla, and then you're just gonna chase it with the chili. There you go. Just both of those together. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's the ultimate pro combo right there. Oh wow. What a move. <laughs> yeah, putting those two together, absolutely epic. So yeah, they kind of show you the lobster that you're gonna eat, uh, poor thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We treat them as well as we can, you know, but yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, we came here about a week ago and we had just this amazing kind of lobster rice. So we came here uh, wanting that, but they kind of sold us on another lobster uh, plate. I think it's like lobster with some potatoes and I'm trying to think, I think there's something else, some eggs or something. So that's how he described it. The view and everything is exceptional. The wine is really good. And uh, we're also gonna start off with this uh, little kind of cool plate. Uh, normally they start you off with a little conserva. Conserva is normally just something in a can, but obviously the seafood uh, in a can here. If you are not sure about canned fish, put that in the rear view mirror because uh, Spanish and Portuguese uh, canned fish is next level. It is absolutely stunning. And uh, sometimes it even brings out the flavor even more. Uh, this one is just a kind of a mussel in a kind of spicy sauce and uh, that sauce looks absolutely epic. I'm just gonna try it by itself. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Briny, that sauce has a little bit of like a pepper kick to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of vinegar in this too. So I think it's been kind of pickled probably with some vinegar, maybe a little bit of a red pepper sauce. Maybe some tomato and uh, probably some paprika too. Let's move into this uh, tartar. Now look at this. Normally to the tartar, you can find it almost anywhere, but they kind of sold us on it. Uh, it just sounded really good. Uh, kind of spur of the moment thing. And that egg, let's go for the egg. Oh, yes, absolutely perfect. And let's just take a bite, just like that. That actually really surprised me and in a really good way. What they've done is they've almost, they've almost put the similar ingredients to what you put in beef tartare. So I think you have like little pickles in there. Uh, the egg has a similar kind of creaminess and then you have, yeah, some kind of pickling quality, some red onions for sure. Yeah, it's almost like a beef tartare, but you replaced it with beautiful red tuna. The tuna uh, melts in your mouth too. It still remains a little bit, uh, it still keeps a bit of a texture. So I think it's just a tuna or I think it's a lean piece of the tuna. That is outstanding though. That is super delicious. And I don't think I've ever had a tuna tartare like this, to be honest. Mm, wow, that's really good. Next up are, uh, actually they said they were whelks, uh, but I think they're more like clams. Really beautiful, I, it's super simple. It's just uh, in the shell and it does look exactly like a clam. So I'm gonna call it a clam for now. And I don't think there's any seasoning, just simply steamed and that's all you need. 
And yeah, let's just take a bite. Yeah, super fresh, super delicious. It, I think it's a clam. <laughs> it tastes like a clam. Uh, nice sweetness coming from it too. Yeah, you get that sweetness and then right away I get that kind of oceany deliciousness. Almost everything from this restaurant is just from around here. Uh, so yeah, everything's super fresh. Everything's from the area and that's what I love about this place is they're really bringing some of the best seafood. Uh, and yeah, these are just so delicious. Look at that juice just coming out too. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, you get that natural soup uh, from the shell too. As soon as you open it, you just get this kind of briny, oceany taste. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but actually Obama was a big seafood lover. So uh, before his very famous slogan, it was actually, uh, yes, we clam. You know. Is that pretty bad? That's pretty terrible. Okay, and here you go. Whoa, what a great ending to this giant uh, tour. And we're gonna go into uh, this, which is called a bogavante. So bogavante, I think it's 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 a lobster. Normally, they're a little bit smaller than the ones you find on the east coast of the U.S. or Canada. But looking at the size of that one, I think that uh, pre-notion went out the window. So it's a species that is very kind of uh, local to this area. Uh, you can only find them in a certain uh, space around this coast. I think a little bit more south and just super sweet. We had this actually uh, with rice before and it was stunningly good. So we actually came back here for the rice and they proposed us uh, this dish with the potatoes and they said there are eggs coming too. So I don't really know what that means, uh, if that means the lobster eggs or if it just means uh, maybe just normal eggs. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they Perfect. Are normal eggs. Normal eggs, okay. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. They wow. are, okay. um, oh, that looks good. From, they are home and Hence. <laughs> uh, <local. laughs> so you eat this with the lobster or is it yeah, just a... Yeah, people usually go with the lobster and when the eggs come, they oh, put the okay. meat of the and, and they are fried in the oil of making the lobster, of course. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, what she said is uh, the so it comes with eggs and then you eat it uh, with the lobster. And what you want to do is obviously dip the lobster into the egg yolk. Uh, the best part about this egg is look at just this shiny lobster oil. This is actually fried in the lobster um, in lobster oil. <laughs> how how decadent is that? How elegant is that? Wow. I, my excitement has just peaked to a new level now. Uh, I'm gonna grab this bad boy because look at all that meat coming from there. Oh, absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm gonna grab this guy out of there. Oh, <laughs> look at the juice, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, perfect, uh, yeah. Okay, let's just let's just dig right in and I'm just gonna dip it into this lobstery egg. I don't think we've even asked the price of this. I'm not sure how much this cost, but at this point, whatever. I'll, I'll sell a house for this dish. <laughs> wow, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh. mm. The lobster, bouncy, super sweet. Actually, I think it's even sweeter than uh, the, some of the lobsters you can find on the East Coast. And then just dipping it into that yolk. Oh, you can tell the egg's a great quality. And then oh, it's just so buttery, so eggy. Uh, let's get a little bit of that potato with it too. Oh, the potato fry on the bottom. Look at that, just egg, lobster and potato all together <laughs> in a symphony of greatness. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is just outstanding. It's so good. The potato just soaks in all those juices too. Thank you, Seafood Gods, for offering this to us. This absolutely outstanding. Uh, I'm gonna try one more piece and then I'll, I'll let my uh, my camera mom eat. But look at this piece with the eggs. Oh, those green, delicious eggs just hanging out there. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, wow. If you're not into lobster guts, give it a give it a shot, uh, and just see. Yeah, for me, it's one of my favorite things. It's so good. It's so seafoody, but it's almost like seafood butter, and this looks so good to me. Oh yeah, oh, mm. so sweet. Then you get that kind of earthy butteriness. Finish it off with a potato. Uh, obviously, some beautiful Galician potatoes. Uh, super kind of uh, yellowish too. 
Um, yeah, if you come here, try anything with lobster and you will not be disappointed. And there's a little crackle in my voice and a, and a tear in my eye. This, this is a beautiful moment. And uh, that will be it for our epic Galicia uh, slash Santiago de Compostela uh, food tour. I really do hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, video. Uh, such an epic uh, couple of days uh, filming there. Wow. Uh, first of all, just absolutely epic uh, seafood. Uh, probably, in my opinion, some of the best uh, seafood you can find around the world. Uh, I would really recommend it. If you are going to Spain, I would definitely set aside some days to visit Galicia. It's way less touristy than a lot of the other Spanish destinations, but so much to offer. So beautiful, stunningly uh, stunning food. Uh, probably, in my opinion, the best food in Spain. And then just everything else is, is so cool. So definitely uh, check it out if you are in uh, Spain. And of course, yeah, ask me if you are going there. I can give you some really cool recommendations. Uh, next up video is going to be really cool. We're going to head just a little bit uh, south of there. If you look on a map, I guess you'll maybe have a bit of an idea of what we're talking about. If you enjoy videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you future videos. And of course, hit us up with those comments and let us know what you enjoyed in this video or what you would eat in this video. And of course, uh, give us some recommendations on other places we can eat at. Anyways, we'll see you very, very soon. Uh, ciao for now.